Did you know that 18% of Montana's economy relies on the housing industry? That accounts for a larger percentage of the economy here than it does in all but five other states. But the recent lack of growth because of the recession has many builders hanging on by their fingernails, like those in the Bitterroot Valley. It's a slow day at Northcott Construction, where workers are making countertops for a remodeling project, evidence of an almost stagnant last couple of years. We have dropped 75 percent of what we were two years ago. That's a very high percentage, and, I, and it's not very comfortable at all. Losing three-fourths of his business means he cuts staff, struggles to cover costs, and no longer qualifies for bonding, meaning he cannot bid for many public projects. I'm not sure how to get smarter. He thought building the Maple Grove Commercial Park would provide additional income from business owners who need space to operate. The guys can't pay their rent, and uh, so I'm stuck holding the bag trying to make all the mortgage payments uh, because nobody will pay, um, so you have to kick them out and can't sue them because they don't have a two nickels to rub together. Northcott isn't the only valley builder adapting to the tough times. It was hard. It was depressing. You know, when, uh, when there's not enough money there, when you have to lay people off, they're like family, and uh, it's difficult. The numbers tell the story. In 2007, builders built 307 new homes in Ravalli County. In 2008, that figure dropped to 197 new homes, a year-to-date drop of 35%. Then a 40% drop to 118 homes in 2009, and a 13% drop to just 102 new homes last year. I think that right now we're on the plateau. We're not going down any further. Um, we've pretty much gone as far as we're going to be. We kind of hit the bottom and we stayed right there. Slowing the construction of new homes are for sale signs all over the valley. As of January 1st of this year, there were 729 houses on the market. That's more than twice the number sold last year. Until those homes start to sell, the new homes are going to stay where they're at. Like the 117 plot Twin Creek subdivision just east of Stevensville, where electricity, curbing, and fire hydrants are already in place but there's not a hint of construction. One very visual casualty of the downturn in the building industry is the log home building business. Not long ago, you could find such companies all up and down this stretch of Highway 93 South, but right now, there are just a handful. We're uh, saddened by a lot of our peers here in the valley not making it through this recession. It's always been good when people thought of the Bitterroot Valley as log home central. Rocky Mountain log homes did survive, and Moreland says things are looking up. Last month, the best January we'd had in five years. So it appears that, uh, you know, we've turned the corner. Back at Northcott Construction, Northcott agrees with his fellow builders, expressing hope for better things to come. I'm optimistic. That's my nature. We're counting our blessings uh, when it comes to having the phone continue to ring and people keep calling. When the hard times come along and uh, usually sometime later, you realize that it can be a good thing for you. You make the changes you need to that if wouldn't have had the hard times, uh, maybe you'd run in trouble later on down the road. Looking forward, it's really um, a better market. And I think the more that the people understand that, that there's, it's time to move forward and that their confidence level comes up, um, that's what's really going to help turn everything around. Northcott just got back from an extended trip that took him to Alberta, British Columbia, Idaho Falls, Manitoba, and North Dakota for out-of-state projects. And he leaves for British Columbia again this week. And here's a regional comparison. In 2007, home builders built 905 new homes in Flathead County, 204 in Lake County, and a combined 526 in the city of Missoula and Missoula County. Those numbers dropped significantly last year to 336 in the Flathead, 91 in Lake County, and 209 in Missoula for an overall drop of 55 to 63 percent.